What is up, internet? It's your boy, Tanku. And today, we're going to be talking about an anime of the season that um, I found intriguing and then um, caught my attention. Its buildup has made the whole anime worth it. So, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like those videos, share the videos if you want, and of course, keep hitting me up on the Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. And with all that said, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about an anime called uh, Decadence. Um, and it was pretty intriguing when I read the synopsis, so I decided to give it a, a view. And the anime revolves around this girl, uh, Natsume. And Natsume's dad was killed when she was very young and she lost her arm. So she has kind of a robotic arm. And she's human, and in this world, humans are called tankers. Um, they're considered very weak. Apparently, there's a lot of aliens on this world. The tankers are some of the weakest of the races, if you will. And all of humanity, all of the aliens, everything lives in this big uh, technodrome-looking thing called Decadence. And um, basically, what you find out is the world is a wasteland... And there's these monsters called the Gondol, I believe is how you pronounce that. While there's people that maintain Decadence and repair it and the infrastructure inside of there, there's jobs that everybody gets assigned. Um, and once you get assigned a job, that's your job for life. And then there are the um, hunters, which are comprised of mainly alien species that go out and hunt the Gondol for their blood because they use the, the blood or the alien juices of these creatures to fuel the Gadans and, uh, you know, use it for pretty much everything in there and the meat, they use the meat, they eat the meat, things like that, everything, then it's consumed. So, there's like this whole infrastructure for this giant roaming thing and it really does look like the Technodrome from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but it's pretty awesome because one of the very first fights you see in it is there's this giant gondola, like huge, like like, we're talking about, like, a Godzilla-sized gondola, and it's almost the size of Decadence, and Decadence transforms into a mega fist and just punches it to kill it. So it's pretty cool, from what I think. And then, um, just that part alone, I was like, all right, cool, you know, it's worth the watch, to, you know, going on. Um, but, and this is revealed very quickly, so it's not necessarily a spoiler, it's because that's not what the main thing is about. You find out that this whole thing is a game world for um robots slash um you know hybrids androids type stuff so um and then you find out how these androids came to be which is pretty intriguing and then pretty much you find out that these androids control avatars which is are the, all the alien races you see and even some tankers and everything is marked um, in the course, the humans don't really get used as avatars because they're considered the weakest among everything, but they have chips inside of them. And this whole thing is a big computer system controlled thing. It's really interesting. And that's when you meet, uh, Kabugurai. Um, Kabugurai is a android that finds Natsumi and decides he's going to train her to be a hunter because that's what her goal is. She wants to be a hunter. She don't care what job she gets assigned. Uh, being a hunter is her dream. She wants to change the world. While at the same time trying to protect her from the reality and the truth of what this world actually is. And so he takes quite a liking to her and decides to train her and try to protect her. He almost becomes like a daughter to him. And it's weird because his whole backstory is very interesting. Because remember, he is a android controlling an avatar um, in a game world. That's what this whole thing is. And when he starts feeling things for uh, Katsume and wants to protect her, like that, and his story is worth it alone. And the decisions he makes and everything he does just for this one girl who is considered a bug in this world. It's it's amazing. And it really shows you like how things can progress and how if somebody wants to change the world and how like other people can affect other people or other things, androids in this case, for the better and try to betterment of their situation, I guess. 
Um, it's really interesting and it's really definitely worth a watch. There's a lot to go on. That was just a scratching little little, little surface of this thing because it goes deep. You learn about the androids, how they became androids. You know, you learn about what happened to humanity, what happened to this planet, Earth, whatever it is, how it became like it is, how it became designated as a, basically a game, and how you learned a lot about the gondol, what they're from, how it all works. The whole system is very intriguing, and it's getting really, really intense. You know, the season's almost over, and just some of the stuff that happens, even I'm like, damn, ooh, you know, it gets me a little bit. It's really a story about Natsume and Kaburuga that wants to protect this girl basically and this girl doesn't need protecting because she's tough you know but how she changes him how he wants to protect her how he changes her you know the whole thing it's very very interesting it's all intertwined there's a lot of things to remember there's a lot of you know personal relationships like there's Faye who's Natsumi's best friend but doesn't want her to be a hunter and you know the thing that they go through um you know you just don't want to it breaks your heart because Faye really just wants Natsumi to be safe but not to me stubborn and wants to be a hunter and just that whole inner thing is just re it really can get to you too you know what i mean so it's definitely worth the watch guys it is definitely not like uh, other animes right now it breaks the mold as far as that goes with the androids the game world you know humans being what they are they're all stuck in this technodrome looking mortal engines thing the gondol which are the monsters of this world the system which controls this game and decadence, dance everything like that and of course all these androids are, are part of these you know in this avatars will play in this game or work in this world together the events that happen things like that it's very intriguing i definitely recommend people watch it check it out but tell me what you guys think you guys think I'm crazy you think nah hey man it's not really that good or do you go like yeah man i mean the first couple of episodes you know, again we're like because eh, they give you just enough to keep you hooked but then they reel you in and it gets really intense guys so you know, again, tell me what you guys think, and always remember, if you can't trust the random fat guy you met on the internet, then who can you trust? And everybody have an awesome, awesome day.